How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Filling up in field, got myself a French vanilla cappuccino and I'm on my way back to Calgary to see my little girl. And this is probably gonna be the last time that we do this back there, back to New Denver trip. Cause Lucky 2.0 is almost ready to hit the road. And regardless, I got a camping trip coming up. So into Calgary, we got lots to do, lots of things to sort of, well, let's just say, cross some I's and dot some T's. I said what I meant. Quick note before anything else, I learned this real quick. If you got a hot drink for this cup holder, do not put it in the cup holder before you close the door. Bad things happen to good people. All right, Grace, let's get it. But also put off your parking brake because you're not going anywhere with it still on. What a beautiful day for a drive. It's actually been really good weather. Rogers Pep, there was snow blowing and rain. That's a nice mix. But now that we're down here and rushing straight towards the Alberta border, but I guess it's kind of a curve, uh, the weather's lovely. And one thing off the top here, I've been talking about it, well, I mentioned it a couple times about getting Lucky's tires swapped. So there's studded winter tires on Lucky right now. And I paid for my like, all-terrain tires to be stored uh, and i've been saying well i should set an appointment for a day or two before my first camping trip to get those tires swapped well here's the thing we're, we're we're going on our first camping trip in april right and while there might not be a lot of snow now if you're familiar at all with alberta weather there's a very good chance we could get more snow may long weekend which i believe is memorial day in the united states uh, that's usually the, the weekend you gotta get past before you can fairly confidently say, all right, there's not gonna be any more snow until the following winter, you know what I mean? So I'm not gonna be the guy that brings a bad omen down on us all by swapping my tires too soon. Case in point, here comes some snow. Are you kidding me? It's very brief, I don't have to... Unbelievable. To the point, I will not be swapping Lucky's tires, and she's gonna be going on her first camping trip with some studded winters. And just the way it's gonna be. It is the next morning, a nice night's sleep. Good evening with Brooklyn. I'm actually gonna have her overnight tonight, which will be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to that. Um, and then, oh, oh, May. Loud, uh, but then anyways, I'll have her overnight tonight, drop her off at school tomorrow, pick her up after school, and after I drop her back off at her mom's, my plan is to immediately take off back for BC. We'll talk more about that later. Right now, let's go get some of our running around done. I did stop at the mailbox last night and picked up a whole bunch of packages. Um, so we'll open those up momentarily. And we got, a, we got a big order to place. So let's get the day started and do that. And I got my 
I got my protein powder in my blend jet for later when I get when I get the hunger pangs. All right, just pulled up to Dormir Mattress up here in Northeast Calgary. This is where I've gotten my last two beds for Lucky. It's kind of been a never ending cycle of trying to figure out the exact firmness that I like. But now we got a completely different sized space for our bed. So we're gonna place the order um, because it takes some time, but they do all sorts of custom builds here, whatever you need. And I've got a little bit of a unique ask, although, well, not that unique. We should be able to do it. Let's go, uh, let's go see how it goes. How are you doing today, sir? Good, how are you? Not too bad. First off, do you mind if I film our interaction for my YouTube channel? Sure. I don't have to put you on camera if you don't want to be, but I've ordered a couple beds already. Sure. <laughs> um, I need another one. Sure. Okay, what do you need? What um, well, let's pull me up and see because I know my first one was really firm. Oh. My most recent one was not. All right, what is your phone number? Okay. We'll go down one step from the first version, which was the hard one. Yeah. And I'll pull them both out so you can have a look. Okay, yeah, that'd be great. Again. Awesome. So you've got this in a six inch, just like this is, and you found it too firm. Okay. You're going to go ahead and lie on that. Yeah. Just re-familiarize yourself with that. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is what you've got now in the other mattress. Okay. It feels so much more comfortable when you're here in the store. What the hell's that about? But if you wanted to, this is one step down from... The this is one step down from that, that so eh? So you wanted to just... Make sure that you've got enough support, but not as hard as that. Yeah, yeah. This would be... I feel like that's still going to bug me in terms of being too firm. Maybe I do like that. But maybe like what you said, maybe we should just do one more step up of firmness on the lower layer or whatever, right? Because yeah. I still need to be six inches. I can't be have it any higher right. than that. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. This time we've got 72 by 69 instead of 48. All right. 72 by 69, it's still a six inch, it's still a four plus two. And what I would like to do is still have a hinge on it. Sure. But I want it on the 72 length. So like where it's 72 inches at 24, so two feet in, make it put a fold on it. Okay, well let me know. If that's possible, right? Here. Yeah. Makes sense to me. <laughs> My brainchild, I don't know. <laughs> is the overall length is 72, right? Yeah, oh, sorry, yes, yeah, sorry, I shouldn't have stopped the arrow there. See, this is why I don't draw diagrams. Yeah, because initially I was like, oh, we could tri-fold it, but I really don't need it to be. No, if you don't right? need it to be. The less folds, the better. Exactly, yeah, because this is it. In my plan is my feet will be on this part anyway, yeah, so. Fine. Okay, cool. All right, there you go. Perfect. So I will order that up for you. I should have it hopefully by the weekend. And okay. We'll call you and you can pick it up. That's perfect. Time. I'm not planning to be back in town until probably next Tuesday anyway. Be, it'll be done. Awesome. Then. Thanks, Craig. Thank you. you. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Okay. Yeah, the white balance is going to be all shot right now. It's probably very blue. Look, he's got a new mattress coming. Hopefully third time is a charm for this very picky van dweller. All right, now I say maybe we should go pester to find folks over at Craze Outdoors. Now, first we'll use our little pocket here on the front of Grace, put our receipt for our bed in case there's any problems. But I have not had any problems the last few times I'm or I've ordered from him. Craig up here at Dormir. If you're looking for a custom mattress for whatever you might need, um, I know Lucky's needs to be six inches. That's just the height it needs to be so I don't smash my head and I'm not hunched over too much. And the new bed platform is the should be the exact same height as the old bed platform, uh, but they can do whatever you want. I'm a little bit more restricted uh, in what I can get in terms of, you know, what the, the composite of the mattress, right? Because I don't want to go any thicker. But Dormir, I always see people ask, I will link in the description of this video, Dormir mattress here in Calgary, Alberta. I don't know that they do shipping, but if you're in the neighborhood, come on in and, and have a chat. He's very good at what he does. Look at the groundhogs. Okay, where were you guys last night when the snow was blowing horizontally underground like smart groundhogs?
Welcome back to Craze Outdoors. I hope they have what I need. I'm sure they do. I was checking inventory online. I wonder who's working. Oh, hello, sir. How are you? Well, bad. And you? Pretty good, pretty good. Just you today? No, my dad's over there, but my brother's working at the, uh, the new office. How are you doing? Good. Nice to see you. You bet. I need help. Okay. I need a sleeping bag. I plan on sleeping in the Jeep and hopefully, God willing, Revelstoke tomorrow night. So nothing crazy, but, and something not, you know, outlandish, but. Okay, we can get you something. Cool. And room to move around. I don't want to feel like I'm being <laughs> held against my will. <laughs> but I mean, I've been using a weighted blanket on that air mattress. And so the Gobi heated blanket that you guys gave me, that's great to lay on top of. Yep. But the weighted blanket is a nightmare to, to haul back and forth. So I don't even have it with me. Okay. So kind of temperatures you want. I, I think it's gonna, well, I mean, I was looking online, there was one that was like minus seven. That seemed like it would probably be good enough for me. I don't see myself going in anything colder than that. that is the... Yeah, that looks familiar. 20. They all look very funny and phallic when you're looking at them yeah. online. <laughs> so your walled Aspen 20 would be your solution. Okay. Uh, so that's rated to 20 Fahrenheit. Okay. We're in Canada. Why do they do that? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fill the box at the bottom. Oh yeah. Toe is warm. Okay. Right, and you're going to try it over there. Oh, I'm going to get in it, am I? Oh. That's the right fit for sleeping. I haven't had a sleeping bag since I was probably 14 years old. Yeah, the key thing with these guys is because they're mummy, they're a little thinner around the legs, so you don't lose too much heat. Oh, okay. My only, it feels nice. My only concern is I tend to like to do this shit. I'm like, oh, it's fine. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not having a panic attack yet. Trying to, trying to like unwrap it. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that EcoFlow fridge is phenomenal. Yeah, yeah you have made with ice it? with it so much. Oh, I got so happy. I can't wait to get out camping. Yeah, so. Compare this to the kids. What's with help with my little? That one does have a little bit more room. Oh, absolutely. Feel that? Feel oh, yeah, already my legs are just way more room down there for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's way more room. Oh yeah, yeah, this one for sure. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, decisions must be made. Do we know who said? Wow, surprising. Who sent them? Uh, or who paid for them? I should say. Sheila Lawrence. Sheila? Oh, Sheila Lorenz. Yeah. I think that's how you say your name. Sheila Zolling. How are you? I think she's on Patreon too. Yeah, Sheila Lorenz. Sheila just wanted to keep my body clean. Thank you very much, my dear. I was gonna buy some of these anyway, but your kindness knows no bounds, which is good. I'll be back in the van next week. No stinky pits or groins. Okay, I'll pay for that now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got everything loaded up. What a nice surprise. Thank you again, Sheila. I'll have to send you a message on Patreon, or maybe I'll just make a clip and say, hey. See you later. Bye. <laughs> He's working hard. Big things coming up. Stay tuned. I was hoping to be able to announce that in this video, but we're gonna have to wait. Uh, either way, okay, now I need to, oh yes, I have a Dixon flannel for my mom that I ordered that simply did not fit. So we need to go to the UPS store to return that, and I should go now while it's not too busy, even though I'm also waiting for an Amazon order that I placed for three items that will become the new sink in Lucky. And those haven't been delivered yet, but I got one more day here tomorrow, so no need to rush. I say we just get over there, return that flannel, and then take it easy before going to pick up the Pirate Princess. That's my plan. Craze Outdoors here in Calgary, Alberta. If you're new around here, it is locally owned and operated by this awesome family that they, they, they specialize in selling all sorts of camping, nomadic, overlanding gear. And I highly recommend uh, checking them out. You can either go to their website, which is always, always, always in the description of my videos. And if you are purchasing something online, if it's your first time, use the code VANLIFE plus at checkout, save yourself 10%. Doesn't apply to sales items. They don't ship to the States yet. Stay tuned. We will be making that announcement as soon as that becomes a reality. There's other things in the works. It's just, uh, let's leave it at that for now. So actually I'm going to send an email over to the UPS store right now with the return label that Dixon sent me. 
and then hopefully they can just get that printed off and it'll be a quick in and out as I do. When I leave tomorrow, my plan, like I mentioned, is to stay in Revelstoke. I should say my plan is to make it to bloody Revelstoke. The last time during this epic back and forth adventure, uh, the furthest I made it was Banff. However, it got darker a lot sooner and it was basically a blizzard that forced me off of the road. I want to make it to Revelstoke tomorrow night. Oh my gosh, everything's a blur. Because then that will cut down on my travel time for Friday, which allows me just to simply and logically get back to Lucky earlier. So we have the most time to focus on putting the, I shouldn't say finishing touches on the build because I have totally made peace with the fact that Lucky gonna be rolling out of New Denver is Lucky like 1.87. Not quite Lucky 2.0 because there's still lots that I want to add and I was actually thinking about a lot of stuff last night in terms of like areas in the van where I could put other things and then of course my creative brain just starts going. That's probably why I couldn't fall asleep last night. But like I said, I've made peace with the fact that that will all be stuff that gets done, as I like to say, in the bush. <laughs> yeah, out in the wild uh, as the spring and summer progress, so. Anyway, that's the plan for tomorrow night. Let's go return a flannel and then open up some packages. Oh, well, fancy that. I went to send the email over to Akshay at the UPS store and my Amazon packages have been delivered. Apparently, I've turned off notifications. Anyway, cool beans. So this will all work out very well. Shouldn't have to go back to the UPS store on this trip.